Hello everybody, I'm Games 522 and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 7. In the last video, we dealt with all of the stuff at the Corel Prison, the Gold Saucer and whatnot, and we have the ability to move forward with our new buggy. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and change up my party here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring Aerith in and place her Barret. I'm also, I also have both enemy skill materials equipped to Red 13 still. Now, let's see here. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have Aerith put on the Manipulate Materia that we got from Kate Sith back in the Gold Saucer. I'm also going to put on the an All and a Restore, like so. Let's see what else we got. I am also going to need to have one of these seal materials for later. And we can go ahead and put on a transformation. Sense would be okay, and ice magic. We'll do that for now. But anyway, before we progress through the game, there are some things that we can do. First one being is that if we come over to this beach that's just right next to Costa del Sol, this beach in particular, and if we keep walking along it until we get into a random encounter, we run into these enemies called Beach Plugs. Now what we do is that we manipulate one of them, and in doing so we, ha we have control over it. So I'm just going to go ahead and attack the other ones. And you notice that they have a move called Big Guard, which they can only use when under manipulation. So we're going to have them cast it on us. So we can learn it as an enemy skill. What Big Guard does is really good. It essentially gives everyone Protect and Shell... And it and haste. It's a very powerful. It's a very powerful ability. Now, what we have to do next, probably gonna cut this out, is we need to go ahead and head back into Costa del Sol, and we need to take the boat back to G across the the ocean to Junon, because there is something else we have to do. So we're going to pay 100 gil to act as stowaway so we can take the boat over. And now we just have to follow all the way back here. It's best to get this out of the way now while we can. Now there is one other thing. I don't know if I went over this with uh with enemy skill materials yet. But um if you have two enemy skill materials equipped and one of them has an enemy skill that the other doesn't, then the one that doesn't have it won't gain the skill because you have the you have the one equipped that does have the skill. All right. Now that we went through all that, we're now here outside Junon, but with our little buggy, if we follow along the left here, we can go across the river with it. And then over here is a cave. And we go in here, there's a dude sleeping. Large materia needs high level materia. Now, he'll say something different each time we come in and out. Generally. But anyway, this guy is an important person. 
You've already escaped 26 times. Yeah, this guy actually keeps track of how many battles you've run away from and how many battles you've fought. Now, how many battles we've fought is important. What we need to do is that every time the second and third digit are the same, he gives us an item. So that means I'm going to have to do battles until we're at 144. And then the next time is when I'm at 155. Like that, essentially. Thankfully, we got Beta to speed this up. But also, while we're fighting, there is another... There is another enemy skill that we can learn here. Assuming we get the enemy. Which we more than likely will, because we have a few fights we have to do. There we are, this dude. We need to manipulate this Zemzalette. It missed. Come on now. There we go. Now that we've manipulated the Zemzalette, there's another enemy skill that we can get by having him manipulated, and that is White Wind. White Wind heals HP equal to the caster to everybody, and it also, and in this game, it also removes all status ailments. But because we made it use White Wind, it's not gonna do anything else. So yeah, that's what we got for the moment. And I think that was the two fights we needed. So if we talk to him, we get a bolt ring. Now, I don't remember the list off the top of my head of what all he gives you, but but specifically when we have the matching numbers five and five in the second and third place, then we actually get something that we have to get. Or it's optional, but it's something we will need later. So I'm just going to cut away until I get to that fight number. Alright, and then once we hit 55, we get Mithril. This is actually a key item. Might be of some help to you all it says but we are gonna need this for later but we are essentially done here for the time being another thing you can do since we are a bit stronger you could go back and get beta on your other enemy skill but I'll do that later once we get the other ones because I mean we already have one materia with beta so we'll be good all right so I'll see you guys back at Costa del Sol okay we have arrived back on the other continent. So, let's just go ahead and... Uh, actually, there's some place I want to check out. We take our buggy over here. No, we can't get over there. It's just a river. Just don't have access to it yet. Anywho. But yes, now we can go ahead and progress now that we got that stuff taken care of. If we come over... Where is it? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. There's actually a house far over here on the edge. If we try going inside of it, no one's here. We'll come back later. So, yeah, that'll be important for later. But we do have one pit stop we want to make, and that's where this is. Is someone there? Hey, Rude, who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Tifa. Hmm, that's a tough one. But poor Elena, she, you... No, she likes to sing. <laughs> I never knew that, but to sing likes that ancient... What are they even talking about? It's so stupid. They always talk about who they like or don't like, but saying is different. Ah! Oh no! They're here! They're really here! Hmm, then it's time. 
Rude, don't go easy on them, even, not even the girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Tsang. It's been a while. Payback for what you did in Sector 7. Out of our way. I don't like being taken for a fool. That's as far as you go. And now it's time to fight the Turks again. This time we can put up big guard to keep ourselves nice and strong. I'll throw down a healing wind because we need it. Big Guard did use a lot of MP, though, but I still got enough MP to do two betas. Friggin' Aerith can throw down a summon. Oh shit, here comes Ifrit. Best damage we're going to be getting for a hot minute. We may be retreating, but we're still victorious. And there they go. That's how we do it. And we get a fairy tale. I don't remember what that is. Interesting. They were definitely waiting for us. They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. And that means that there's a Shinra spy? I don't even want to think about there being a spy. I trust everyone. Now, we have a chance to choice to go left or right. We're going to head to the right first. Damn. This poor place. A ruined reactor. Is that a helicopter? It's Scarlet, head of Shinra Weapon Development. Hmm, <laughs> so this isn't any good either. You only get chunky materia from chunky reactors. This reactor's a failure. What I'm looking for is big, large, huge materia. You seen any? No, I haven't seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please, we could make the ultimate weapon if only we had some. I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, weapon development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the perfect weapon, could that stupid Heidegger even use it? Oh, sorry, I forgot Heidegger is your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Big, large, huge materia. An ultimate weapon? The perfect weapon? Just what are the Shinra up to? There's something shiny back there. Reach for it. And we get the Titan Materia. Another summon. Alright. 
So now let's go ahead and head back and take the other path. And then here, if we go left, we'll actually exit this place. So we want to head to the right. What is this place? A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Oh, boy. A ruined reactor. Well, that's sad to hear. What you doing up here, friendo? You want something? Shinra built the reactor without even thinking about the town's safety. And this is the result. Kind of sounds like Corel. Did you want something? We voted to outlaw the use of Mako energy and live with nature ever since the explosion. Times are hard. You need something? It's been a while since the explosion, but you can still find the pieces it left all over town. We've also got an X potion right here. We are going to need this, so be sure to pick it up. What about this house? There's another item right here. And this is the White Microphone, a weapon for Kate Seeth, Sith. This is actually his double growth weapon. This is Gongaga Village. Many people died here in the Mako Reactor Explosion. Damn, the poor townsfolk. Oh, you here to shop? One day, a huge explosion killed many of the townspeople. So, from what I'm getting is that Shenra just built a reactor, and it went to shit, and the citizens suffered for it. That sounds pretty par for the course. What about this house? You, you a traveler? Hey, wait. That glow in your eye. Are you in Soldier? Oh, you're right. Don't you know anything about our son? His name is Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. He sa he left saying he was going to join Soldier. Have you ever heard of Zack and Soldier? Hmm. I don't know. Zack. Young lady, you know him. I remember he wrote to us six or seven years ago saying that he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? That can't... Aerith. Have you ever met someone in Soldier named Zack? I can't believe he hasn't contacted us in ten years. After all, we're his parents. Aerith. You alright? What a shock. I didn't know Zack was from this town. You know him? Didn't I tell you? He was my first love. Zack, soldier, first class, same as Cloud. Strange. There aren't that many who make first class, but I've never heard of him. That's alright. It's all in the past now. I was just worried because I've heard he's been missing. Missing? It was five years ago. He went out on a job and never came back. He loved women, a real ladies' man. He probably found someone else. Hey, what's wrong? Poor guy. I don't really mind that I haven't heard from him, but I feel for his parents. Let's go, Cloud. Wow. You know... I think that's the second time we've heard we've heard something about a mission five years ago. Nah, it's probably just a coincidence. It's probably nothing. There's also a materia right here, the Death Blow Materia. 
it's a command where you where basically you're guaranteed to execute a critical hit with very very low accuracy but any who's in we stop by Gogaga, learn some things there so let's go ahead and just head this way not really much way we can go from here hmm Looks like we just gotta go through the canyon now. Guess it's starting to sunset, apparently. Can't go over this ledge. There's a town nearby. Oh man, a breakdown now? Great. So, I guess instead of just being stranded here, I guess we should just head into this town. What is this place? I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe! Come on, and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanaki. Excuse me? Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? No. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of, plant li of planet life. Um, uh, I'm sorry it's full now, so I can't let you enter. They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? So you helped our Nanaki. Please come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Well, we just learned something. We're just going to form a temporary party for the moment. Now, for those who are curious, the inn is right here. It's just upstairs. Let's see here. There's also a bunch of stray rooms around everywhere, too. But yeah, I had trouble finding the end my first time going through here, so... Here's where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those appreci who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home! Coming, Grandpa! Let's rest for a bit. There's some things I want to find out about anyway. There's also a save point right here, and there's also a weapon shop right here, too. But I think we want to head up. I think this ladder takes us to the top. Here we are. What is this place? Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He is incredible. He knows everything. Oh ho ho! I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Ho oh, ho! Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see his 48 years old would be equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up to be able to protect you and the village. 
Ho ho ho! No, Nanaki! You can't stand on your own yet! To do what you- to do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up to the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. When the time comes, when it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies, oh, <laughs> it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. The hell is that? What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ho ho ho! That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ho ho ho! To save the planet! Ho ho ho! But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show them. Bugenhagen. Several odd looking people are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. Don't worry, my machine won't run away. Go and invite your friends. Alright, so here we basically want to talk to any of our party members so we can make a party. So let's see here. Here's Kate Sith. What did they say? So I'm going to go ahead and put in Barrett and Aerith. Here, over here. The door's unlocked. Come in. Ho oh, ho It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand there. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Hey, a shooting star! So we're actually just seeing a 3D hologram of space in real time? Ho ho ho! Yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. But what about their consciousness? Their hearts and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. 
The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, become a swell called the Life Stream. Life Stream, in other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should not forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Spirit energy is the source of life for trees, birds, and humans. And not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spirit energy were to disappear, These are the basics of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Ho ho ho! Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcibly extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're thinking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Some heavy shit, dude. The story of the planets and those who lived with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. Nanaki, his father is his father a coward. So that's it. Nanaki's been thinking that all this time. Maybe Bugenhagen knows something that Red doesn't. Well, let's go ahead and head back down to the lower part. like we're all here what a boring place just like I thought I want to go somewhere let's go find me some materia I wonder how many years it's been gosh it brings back memories I wonder what you, what are you thinking about Kate I learned a lot the elders taught me many things about the Setra and the promised land I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm... We're here for you, right? I know, I know, but I'm the only... Cetra. Does that mean we can't help?
Cosmo Canyon. This is where Avalanche was born. I promise my guys someday when we save the planet from the Shinra that we'd all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone. Died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hate the Shinra. But is it right to go on? Will they... Will they ever forgive me? Right now, I don't really... I don't really don't know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet, or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever, I don't care. Oh, I'm gonna do it! Again! Again! Avalanche is born again! Cloud? Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Cloud, five years ago... It's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really, really are... You, right? Tifa, what do you mean by that? Of course I'm me. Long ago... When I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy. And that's fine, but when I think of my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki. There is something you should see. The place may be dangerous. Cloud, will you and one other person come with us? Since I've already equipped Aerith, we're gonna take her. And we're gonna go ahead and drop by the inn because our statistics aren't looking too hot. So we just want to head up. Welcome to the Shildra Inn. And here we go. Now we're up to snuff. Now then. It seemed like Bugenhagen was heading back up to his observatory. Wonder where he's going. Ho ho ho! Are we all set? Yep. Ho ho ho! Shall we go? Alright, come in, come in. Okay, you lead the way, Grandpa. What? You crazy? It's dangerous in there, I told you that. If you want an old may old man like me to go first, I'll be right behind you. Now, I do need to double check my materia real quick. Just one quick thing. I just gotta make sure I'm good. Yes, I wanna have the seal materia equipped. Make our lives a whole lot easier. Where the hell are we going?
What is this place? Looks like I didn't get the music to trigger. There we go. There are a bunch of these random caves in here. There's a strange looking rock. Let's break it open. And we're thrown into a battle and of course the music bugs out because why wouldn't it? Now, these enemies are Gi Spectres. Now, these guys actually have an enemy skill. I don't think it's possible for us to manipulate them to get it, but let's see. Mm, nope, let me just go ahead and kill one of them off. There we go. Yes, here we go. If you manipulate one of these gi, one of these gi soldiers, gi specters, you can you can you you you, blah, 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 you can control them to cast death sentence. Death sentence is another enemy skill. It basically inflicts doom. It puts a counter over the person's head, and then when it hits zero, that character dies. So we're just going to go ahead and get through this. I do want to try and save my limit break, maybe if I can. But yeah. Thankfully we got Cure Magic to keep ourselves up and hefty. There's a funny looking rock. And we got more Geese Spectres. We're going to throw down a beta. That's enough to pretty much wipe these guys. The XP they give isn't bad. So I will take the time to fight them. There's another cave right up here. And there's another cave right here. What's this one? An odd shaped rock. Break it open. And it actually opens up a door. Now there isn't anything else. There's also this body with a spear through it. Just stuck to the wall. And here we have a strange shaped rock. Break it open and we have more geese specters. Oh, cool. Preamp. Nicely done. Now then, we want to go inside of this cave here. But what is this place? Ho oh, ho everyone hears a ghost of the Gi tribe killed in a certain battle. A certain battle? The vengeful spirits of the Gi didn't disappear and couldn't return to the life stream. We still have far to go. Ho oh, ho ho! So let's get a move on. And now we've entered the next phase of this place. Now, you see this slick oil right here? We want to walk across this. Try not to run across it. There we go. Because if you do, you'll slide into spikes that come out of the wall. And then right here, we have an added effect materia. This is a very useful materia. Basically, what it does is... Basically, it applies the materials. Well, actually, no, we've already used. Yeah, basically, if a materia has a certain status effect to it, like, for example, poison or sleep or something like that, added effect basically gives the armor that immunity, or it also gives your weapon that property when you attack with it. That's basically the gist of it. There is one really, really messed up combo you can do with it, but of course, we're nowhere near that point yet. Okay, then. So, we just have to go this way. But keep the added effect in mind, because we're going to do funny stuff with it later. If we come down here, we can get a chest. With a black microphone. Or it's technically a megaphone, but... And here we have an ether. This is for when your MP starts to get low. Which our MP is going to be kind of vital coming up here pretty soon. Also, is this lava? 
As you can see, this cave leads to the back of Cosmo Canyon. Even the Gi outnum even though the Gi outnumbered us, they could not attack through here because the passage was too narrow. Let's move on. All right, now we have an interesting bit. There are five caves here. And they all take us to a different path. But believe it or not, it's only the ones on the end and the one in the middle that just take us butt fuck nowhere. So it's the ones on the left and the right. It's on it's the second from the left and the second from the right are the ones that we want to go through. But you see these webs right here? These webs are actually forced encounters. It's against these spiders. These spiders are really strong. But you know what works best against them? Sleep. Okay, that time it missed. But yes, basically the gist is, is that we need to put these spiders to sleep. So we can attack them with magic. Because basically these spiders will essentially counter with anything that they get hit with. There we go. So now we want to go ahead and just... Just cast magic on him to hurt him. I'm going to throw down an all cure just to get everyone topped off. Thankfully, we've gotten fire too at this point, so this shouldn't take too long. If you can get the poison off of Bio, that can also help speed this up a bit. But these guys also have a lot of HP. I think I'll have Cloud do his limit break now. There we go. That's one dead spider. They give you 25 AP, which is a decent amount with the uh, doubles that we've got equipped. But at the same time, fighting these spiders is a pain in the ass. Now, if we come down this path, we may reach what seems like a dead end, but as we go up and hug the right wall, we can actually come down here to get this chest with a fairy ring. Now, the way we actually have to go is straight ahead. So, let's go ahead and go back here and take the other tunnel. Which, of course, we do have to deal with the spider web again, so I am going to pop an ether on red here. And here we go again. There we go. You can also steal something from these guys, but I'm not sure what it is. Couldn't steal anything. Uh, let's see. Honestly, a summon wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad idea. But yes, as you can see, these things have a lot of HP. And you will take a lot of damage if you don't put them to sleep and magic attack them, so I think this is probably the safest way of dealing with these things. And there we go. Alright, two webs down, one web left. 
now there's a chest right here with an X potion. So I guess they do give us one. Now then. I don't think that's everything over here, right? No way, yeah. Okay, there is one more chest, but it looks like we have to go down the center path in order to get to it. Which, you know what that means. We gotta deal with the last spider. I'm not sure what you can steal from these guys, but... Don't know if it'd be anything special, but... How much damage does Flamethrower actually do? Eh. Comparable, I guess. I'm surprised how strong Aerith's ice uh, magic is, despite this only being tier 1. Actually, how much HP does this thing have? Let me sense it. Oh, okay. 2200. Yeah, that's quite a bit. Should almost be dead. There we go. And that is the last of the spiders. And now we can come over here and get this last chest, which has a turbo ether. But we're not going to need really anything for this upcoming fight. This warrior went through the cave all alone, fighting attackers one after another. Grandpa, that warrior. Ho oh, ho, we're almost there. What is this? Grandpa, is he? After death, the ghosts of the Gi, like stagnant air, this can't be. Well, that was freaky. And now we're fighting this guy. This is the Gi Natak. Now, you wanna, you guys want to see something hilarious with this dude? This guy is an undead enemy. Remember those X potions we picked up? We're gonna throw one at him. And as you may know, for those of you who don't, undead enemies in Final Fantasy games typically take damage from healing moves. So, what do you think happens if we throw an item at if you throw if we throw at him an item that fully heals HP? He dies. Just like that. And we get a wiser staff. Thank you, Cloud. Because of you, we survived. Nanaki, you have grown strong too. Oh yeah? Now I know that I it wasn't a mistake bringing you here. Come, I have something I want to show you right over here. We also pick up the gravity materia. The gravity materials have the demi spell, which are spells that do a fixed amount of damage to 
enemies uh, based on their current HP. This is... The warrior who fought against the Gi. He kept them from taking even one step into Cosmo Canyon. But he was never able to return to town. Look, Nanaki. Look at your father, at the warrior, Seto. That... that's... Seto? Seto continued to fight the Gi tribe here to protect this canyon, even after the Gi's poisonous arrows turned his body to stone. Even after they all ran away, Seto continued to protect us. And he continues to protect us even now. Even now? You thought that he was a coward and ran away, but... He alone risked his life to protect Cosmo Canyon. That is your father, Seto. That is Seto. Did Mother know? Oh, <laughs> she knew. The two of them made me promise to keep this cave shut. They asked me to seal it myself and not to tell a soul. They said we should forget about this cave. Cloud, would you mind leaving the two of us alone? Nanaki, I want you to continue your journey with Cloud and the others. Redpaw? Listen, Nanaki. Cloud says they are trying to save the planet. Honestly, I don't think it can be done. For even if they stop every reactor on the planet, it's only going to postpone the inevitable. Even if they stop Sephiroth, everything will perish. But, Nanaki, I've been thinking lately. I've been thinking if there was anything we could do. As a part of the planet, something to help a planet already in misery. No matter what happens, isn't it important to try? Am I just wishing against fate? I am too old to do anything about it. This year I'll be a hundred and thirty. Ho ho ho! That is why, Nanaki, you must go with them. For my sake. Grandpa. I wanted to show you your real father before you left. I'm so glad that you came back while I was still alive to show you. Grandpa, don't talk like that. I don't want to think of a life without you. Ho ho ho! Well, I've had a long life. Grandpa, you must live. I'll see to it. I'll see that what's happening to this planet, and I'll come back to tell you. Nanaki. I am Nanaki of Cosmo Canyon, the son of the warrior Seto. I'll come back a warrior true to that noble name, so please, Grandpa. That's Seto's... Seto... Seto... Fa father...
The buggy's fixed, so we can go now. Shall we get going? So this is it? Red 13? That's just the way it is. It came in handy at times. I'm just gonna do a temporary party fill here. Well, I guess it's time we go. Wait for me. I'm coming too. Hmm? Cloud, please look after Nanaki. What happened? I think I grew up a little. That's what happened. Ho <laughs> come back whenever you need my knowledge. And with that, we're done in Cosmo Canyon. And of course, the music bugs out. Why wouldn't it? Music, please. There we go. Now, let me go ahead and put Red 13 back in. We're going to go ahead and take everything off of him. And uh, this time, I'm going to put in Tifa, because we haven't used her in a while. Let's see. She probably has a better weapon at this point. Yep, motor drive. Double growth. Let's go. Let's see. Fire. Lightning. And then I can give her all with... Hmm. I feel like Mi I feel like Mini might be good. Call it a hunch. I put on Shiva, and then also right here I will put. Well, throw. That's not really that. That's not really gonna help much. Maybe. Hmm. It's kind of hard to think, really. Thinking is hard. I think for the moment, I'll probably give her... No. Let me actually come back over here. Maybe there's something I can... Seal. Yeah, I can drop seal. Might need manipulate. Okay, I'm actually going to move the enemy skills over to... Aerith. And I'm going to give Tifa manipulate. There we go. That's better. Still got the carbon bangle. Silver armlet. Everyone's defenses are pretty much the same, so. Striking staff. Oh, here's the wiser staff. Double growth. Let's fucking go. Uh, okay. Bit of a conundrum here, but. Nah, we'll just work with it. Alright. Now that the buggy's fixed, we can continue onward. I wonder what kind of journeys will be in store for us now, everybody. I feel like everyone's starting to get along, everyone's starting to have their fun times, and then we're just... Excuse me?